Good morning, everybody. Wow, I'm so bad. Ooh, my hair looks light as well. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 13. Is it day 13? It's day 13. Um, of Vlogmas. I look horrendous. Please excuse what I look like. I got up so late again. I think my body's just trying to fight a virus and I don't know about it because I don't feel great, as you saw last night. And I keep waking up for the past few days really, really late. Um, which is not good. But I have a lot to do today. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to have a shower, do my makeup, do my hair, get a bit of content. And then I really need to go and get my nails done. Really badly. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that. And then obviously later I need to scrub this tan off. And we tan because I'm working tomorrow at Ooh, I think, possibly. Um, could possibly be my first solo show. Which is so scary. But do you know what? I'm all first stepping out of my comfort zone and just... Jumping in at the deep end. Because you never know where it's going to get you. So, might possibly be doing that. And then I have a couple of other shows at the end of the week as well. Um, but yeah, obviously I'll take you with me. And today is a day of sorting myself out. Because, quite frankly, I look a mess. Regardless of how I feel, I need to sort myself out. I need to get, go and get my nails done. This is basically where I sit to edit every day. <laughs> um, but I'm just sat here waiting to go to bed, editing today's video, what you're watching now. I realised I haven't got that much footage, so I thought, seeing as I've done it tonight, I'm going to show you my fake tan routine. Um, I think I did a video of this years ago actually, when I first started doing YouTube, I did like the tan routine that I do. It hasn't really changed since then, apart from having more expensive products, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but first of all, what I like to do is I like to scrub my whole body. So usually, I haven't got it with me right now, it's in the bathroom. But I will usually use the Bondi Sands Tan Eraser to get rid of any fake tan that I've still got left on. Sometimes I haven't got any left on, sometimes I've got like bits like around my hands and around my wrists and my feet and my knees and stuff. So I just use that to get it off. Sometimes I've still got that week's tan on. So I will put that all over my body. It is the best tan eraser 
you will ever find. It does smell like bleach, which is slightly alarming, but it gets your tan off like incredibly well. It's so good. I use that, I put it on for five minutes, just stand there but naked for five minutes. And then I get in the shower or the bath and I scrub with the little the glove scrubby mitts. Scrub my whole body and it comes off so easily. Well, it usually does. This time it didn't, I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's just because I've left it on for way too long and I haven't been moisturising in between as much as I usually do. But it wasn't great, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but usually it does if you kind of keep up with your moisturising throughout the week and obviously after you've put your tan on and stuff. So yeah, I'll do that. Then I found my new Holy Grail product, which I am totally obsessed with. And it is the Frank Body Charcoal body scrub and mask this is amazing i can't tell you enough how good this is i literally put a little bit while well, i'm in the shower after i've scrubbed my tan off a little bit on my hand and i just put it all over my body i mean i do put a little bit more on in a little bit because i do cover my whole body um, and rub it all in and it smells like it smells like coffee and chocolate mixed together it's so nice and we're obsessed with it um but yeah, I put this all over my body. Leave it on there for a couple of minutes as like a mask. Um, if I've got any extra dry places, I'll leave it on there for a little bit longer. And I'll wash it off. It is dark. It is just come out like black, grey, charcoal colour. But it's so good. Honestly, it's amazing. I love it. It's quite expensive for an exfoliator, I guess. I don't know how much people usually spend. But I think this is £15 for this little bag. Obviously it's not huge, but it is, a little does go a long way, and it's very, very good. And I'm going to be buying it again, because it's amazing. <coughs> so now I've just done that, and I've like shaved everywhere and stuff like that. I will then get out of the shower and use the Bondi Sands moisturiser. This is the vitamin E and coconut one. Um, it's amazing. Honestly, Kaylee introduced me to this when we were in Dubai and I love it so much but it has run out really quickly I don't know if it's just because I use a lot of moisturiser I do moisturise day and night and a little goes a long way with this I probably use the same amount as I would with a normal moisturiser <laughs> um, but it's very very glowy very like I don't know the word it just makes you look so glowy and it soaks into your body so nicely and it smells like holidays this is about £10 I think um, but so worth it, I love it so much and I'm definitely going to rebuy it. Then, tanning time, obviously, usually I'll put this all over my body, but sometimes I'll just put it on the dry patches, so I'll put it on my knees, on my feet, my hands, on my wrists, on my elbows, um, if, I, if I'm in a rush and I want to tan straight away, um, which is what I did tonight. Then I always take the Bondi Sands mitt, this is a double sided mitt, so it's really great because you can use both sides. Um, and I wash them after every time, so I've got a couple of these. And I throw them in the washing machine with my dogs um, every time I've used it. So right now I am using the Saint Tropez. This is the extra dark one. I actually got this about probably nine months ago now. And so I'm guessing it's probably out of it. Oh no, 12 months, this is okay. But I got this for a really great price because I got it in Dubai and they were restocking the shelves with all the new packaging of this and the guy said to me I've actually got one bottle of the extra dark left in the back but we can't put it on the shelf because it's the old packaging so he got me this for two pounds whole bottle of lunch pay brand new in the packaging everything two pounds and it's lasted me all this time but I was using the only reason I'm using this one now is because um, the St Moritz one that I usually use, which I always go back to, no matter what time I use, I always go back to St Moritz. They have discontinued the lotion. I think they have anyway, because I can't find the lotion anywhere, apart from in the new formula. I haven't got the old formula anywhere of the St Moritz lotion, and I much prefer the lotions now over the foams, because these foamy moussey ones are a little bit more drying than the lotions. Um, so much for the lotions and they haven't got it anywhere, I can't find it. So this is why I'm using this one at the moment, this is just the one that I use when I run out of my usual tan. Um, but I'm actually really liking it, I've only got one layer on and this is the one layer. Obviously it's extra dark, so I'll wash it off tomorrow morning. But it's great. 
Um, and then once I've done my skincare, I'll just go over my face with this, with whatever is left on the mitt. Sometimes I'll use the Saint Tropez face mist. I'll use that throughout the week if I'm just wanting to make my skin a little bit more tanned when I've not got makeup on. I haven't been using that this week actually, but it is really, really good. I absolutely love it. And if you're looking for a face tan, that is my go-to Saint Tropez. It's like a clear mist. Um, it's really, really good. And it doesn't make me break out and it smells amazing too. But yeah, that is my tan routine, guys. Sometimes I use the Bondi Sands one tan but it doesn't really sit very nicely on my skin um it just goes a bit too like crocodile skin too quickly even with lots and lots of moisturizer if i do moisturize every morning every evening my tan doesn't go patchy so that is my top tip for you guys <laughs> anyway guys i'm gonna end the video there because it's been a long day today again i'm not still not feeling my best but i'm at work tomorrow so I need to get some beauty sleep. <laughs> um, once again, please do subscribe if you want to see more of me. And like this video. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.